House. Dan Schulman and Dick Vitale with you. They are just nicely underway in Lawrence. A couple of minutes in between two top ten teams. And after the three goes down for Christian Brown, the Kansas lead is up to four, Dickie V. And they have one loss, both clubs, and they both lost to the number one team in the country, Gonzaga. Yeah, Kansas lost by... And the three a little bit strong for McBride, and this time the rebound corralled by the Jayhawks, and here comes Wilson in transition. A little behind the back pass, Brown, count it! Conference right there, the Big Ten is certainly very good. And we have bracketology already. Joe Lenardi, we're not wasting any time. <laughs> bracketology, it's December! <laughs> We've been on a road for three weeks. For a few weeks, happy to be back home. No snow on the ground, really, uh, here in late December in, in Toronto. And another long jumper, and the three they do a lot of other things really well. You know, Bob Huggins told me McNeil's been making shots in practice and not in games, but tonight early right here in, in Rock Truck, Jenny on Clan, he's, oh, he's a total guard. There's no doubt about it. Shooting the basketball has always been something a little suspect with him, but he does everything else exceptionally well. Good news for them, man. Him making those shots from the three is major. He averaged 30 points per game. That's a big win they had over Texas Tech a few days ago down in Lubbock on the Abaji layup in the closing seconds. And then McNeil the block's hot up. early, and he stays hot because of the ankle injury, but he's averaging about 14 points, eight rebounds per game, number 10 for Kansas. Garrett for three. Yes! Watch those kind of shots from the perimeter, adding to his ability to defend, that makes him a real, real NBA prospect. Yeah, because he does everything else well. Are and West serious? Virginia just staying hot at the other end. And couple, he wants him to get a little bit meaner. He wants, you know, you know, <laughs> Coach, I mean, Coach Huggins, you got to be tough to play for him, right? He wants him to be a little bit meaner in the middle now for the Jayhawks. They want to get more out of Shibway. He's playing 20 minutes a game, averaging eight points a game and seven rebounds. That's a no-no right there. Bob Huggins is not going to be high. Air ball from the corner. Yeah, didn't look good on that shot, but they think that eventually he's going to become a very good shooter. How about that drive? Look at... Yeah, he's been real quiet in the game, but that showed some of his ability that everybody raves about. Went to Muller High School in Cincinnati. Jalen Wilson with a three. Both teams shooting the ball extremely well from the outside. Culver inside. It's a bouquet, and teams have been able to attack and get to the rim on them. They don't have any rim protectors. McCormick muscles it up and in. And Matthews for three. In and out. There's the Kept alive. Nice Culver again. and a rejection from behind by Anaruna. And then McBride will bury the three, and it's a two-point game. West Virginia five of nine from three. Nice swing pass into the corner to Brown. Doesn't get the shot off. Abaji will. And he'll bury it. Se yeah. Second foul on McCormick. So he's gone to the bench likely for the rest of the half. Lightfoot is in. Abaji with a great look. It won't go. But Wilson. He's got more offensive rebounds. You and I talked during the break. But right here, they're making him productive when you look at Kansas. McNeil hot early. On the bench for a while. Doesn't bother him at all. Culver's a good passer for a big guy. He's going to try to get all the way to the bucket, and he will. He wants to beat you off the bounce. Can't get good the shot off. Right. Good D there by Abaji. Deep one, and it goes. McNeil was a junior college Division II All-American a couple of years ago. 30 points per game. He could fill it up. He had a As Dan said earlier in the telecast. Yeah, 0 for 8 is the West Virginia coach. 0 and 1 is the Kansas State coach. So 0 and 9 overall. You talk about a difficult shot. Played the game of horse. That would be tough yeah. to match. Up until that bucket, only three West Virginia players had made a field goal in this game. McNeil, McBride, and Culver. High Great low. Execution. Oh, and Shibwe can't finish it. Got to go up strong there. He's got to go up strong and finish that. It was terrific execution. Christian Brown for three. But come on, that can't be serious. You're there because number one, Kentucky, people want to see them play. And Louisville, it's a rivalry. Club four opportunities. Are you serious? The rebounding ability they have? Yeah, this is supposed to be West Virginia's specialty. Kansas doing a great job. And you get believable. You don't expect that, as you said. You look at West Virginia's strength is their rebounding ability. Uh, Baji into double figures with 11 now. Help us out. We must help kids. And the forward written by Leonard Hamilton, the great coach of Florida State, who Dick is also 
a Hall of Fame finalist this year. It's really Dots from the three. He does multiple things that really helps that Kansas team. Dick McCabe in the game because McBride has gone to the bench with his third foul. McCabe just buried the three. Uh, you got M, M cubed, baby, M cubed. McCabe, Jordan McCabe, former Mr. Basketball in the state. of to love Hot Rod Hunley too, man. Another yeah. West Virginia special player. Wilson, another three, the 12th of the game for Kansas. Nice pass by Wilson to a wide open Brown. Pretty offense, but it's in and out for Brown. Another loose ball goes to the Jayhawks, and another made three. It's Wilson again. Now he's got to get his team to shoot more threes because they don't have the kind of post presence. Sherman with a shot fake and a drive gets to the rim and lays it in. A three, 31 to 28. Offensive rebounds dead even at 15 apiece. You expect a big edge right there from West Virginia. 17 oh, offensive rebounds, 10 of them in the second half. 10 offensive rebounds in less than 11 minutes. And another three. Wow. I mean, shoot 20% from the three is a nightmare. Brown open again. And another wow. one. Wow. He's, he said, hey, bring on Mr. McNeil. I want to match it. Our buddy Bob Davis has got a book out called Dream is Real. He did the book along with Jeff Bullock. And I... They get good ball movement. They really know how to swing the ball, drive the lane, and find the open man. That's just unbelievable execution right there. Well, when you have Here. games like this late in the year, Dan, one goes home, enjoys Christmas, and the other one is... A little sad. Mormick probably better than last year, certainly in a bigger role. Brown, another year of experience. He's better. Abaji looks like he's taken another step forward. Last year had a great chance to win it all. Matthews with a drive, and the lefty banks it in. That really feels like one of the big turning points of the game. I'm going to tell you this. I came into the game believing that cover... And she right inside the second time in school history. They're opening up with five games away from home. The last time was 1940 and 41, and I was two years old. <laughs> yeah, start it. So uh, they don't play for about 10 days. They will host Texas in a game of the 2nd of January, noon Eastern, 11 Central. Battle of illness. I'll tell you what, the Kansas Baylor games are going to be fun this year. We know that. Ooh, wow. Here with a drive, and there he is. Get near him. Are you kidding me? Matthews from the corner misses the three and it near the number of W's he has you win 888 games man That itself is worth the Hall of Fame. Yeah, second it absolutely McBride with a jumper to make it 79 65 and that'll do it They will run out the final few seconds at Allen Fieldhouse an impressive win great three-point shooting Really good offense all night long. They kept West Virginia's big guys in check and the Kansas Jayhawks with a superb win over the Mountaineers, West Virginia drops to 7-2. The Jayhawks are now 8-1.